Okay, I don't know about you, but as a avid wig wearer, sometimes the thick va va voom Beyonce freakum dress wigs just give a little bit too much. There are days when I literally just want a little something something to accentuate my natural beauty and I want to be able to go. For example, if I was in corporate America, I would want something a lot more subtle, going to PTA meetings and all of that, especially, you know, in situations where like I'm around other cultures who don't understand wigs the way we do, you know what I'm trying to say? This gives a lot more of a grown and sexy and mature vibe. Even for the younger girls that are like in high school or grade school, they now wear wigs a lot of the times and this is something that I would recommend for the younger ladies as well. If you're in school, you don't have to worry about the va va voom. This is 100% glueless. No glue, no gel, no spray was added at all. And as you guys see, she has a nice snug fit. So you're able to take her off and switch her up. And it's the perfect length and density. So this one does come from my first wig. I have all the details in the description box. I'm going to show you how I install her, how she looks straight out of the box, and how we get her to this beautiful, natural, sexy elegant all of the above beat so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial okay ladies let's get right into it this is the packaging and you know i'll show you all the details towards the end of the video so stay tuned for that but this here is the star of the show this is a malaysian human hair yaki straight lace front wig she's a 13 by 6 lace front wig and she is 160 percent density she's also of indian hair origin and this is a look at the inside construction of the cap also i might add that the texture is silky and you guys already know they included the adjustable strap so i'm gonna go ahead and put her on and i mean you can just tell by looking at her that i am feeling it all these hair flips that i'm doing like i just i don't know i thought i was beyonce or somebody i'm also showing you how 16 inches looks on me it's a very natural grown sexy mature vibe but it's also very youthful at the same time i can't describe it safety first so i did go ahead and add my heat protectant before i forgot and then i'm going to go ahead and begin the installation process i'm just using a pair of shears to go ahead and cut off all of the excess lace you can also use an eyebrow razor for a more jaggy cut but this works perfect for me on this day i also like to pull the hair back so that i can work in sections and take my time but i can also see exactly what's going on here i'm going to use the flyaway tamer this is actually a my first wig exclusive product and they did include it in my package so i did open up a fresh jar and i am using it as my wax stick with my electric hot comb and you guys already know this combination for me is a dynamic duo it's my way of making sure that i look super 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 put together and that my lace is always snatched as you guys can see it's transforming the lace right in front of your eyes everything is going from lumpy and like you know textured and full of body to like flat and smooth sometimes the texture is amazing but sometimes you just want it nice and flat and no lumps along the lace now i'm going to soak the hair out typically i would just run the flat iron through the entire head but lately i've been paying a little bit more attention to detail and this here is an example of how you can silk press your hair using the chase method with your flat iron to really really get in there and get your hair silky straight so i'm working in medium sized sections and again just going in and making sure that everything is bone straight the hair as i mentioned is a yakky texture but it's almost like a soft yakky texture so you can't even really tell that it's yakky if that makes any sense it's nice and it's smooth but in person it gives the impression of like a very natural african-american textured look it almost looks like i'm wearing my natural hair and i just went and got a nice little quick wrap or a blowout done absolutely gorgeous and that's why i like this one so much now as we make it to the top you definitely want to make sure that you are careful do not burn your ears and also be mindful of, you know, putting too much heat on your hair. This is why I did use a heat protectant. I do want to mention that this one also holds a curl great, so you can definitely curl it if you'd like. Here is a look at the before and after. On this side, I soaked the hair out, and this is what it looks like straight out of the packaging. Now, it looked amazing before, but of course, a silk press always does the trick. Now, I thought I was done, but I, but I did decide to go in and add a little bit of baby hair. You guys know I love a little different touch, so I went with something that's very OG and nostalgic to me. This hair reminds me of how I wore my hair back in the day, and when I first started doing lace fronts, this is how we kind of like 
camouflage the lace front because I believe it was a closure back then and we would do that little I don't know what you would call it but it's like we would like marry one side of the parting to the opposite side by like doing a little flip over baby hair situation and I really like it I haven't done this in so long but it looks really really good with this wig but then again it did look awkward just doing that little piece by itself so I went and added just a little bit of thin very very micro baby hair and I kind of just made it super wispy and just let it go however it looks like this helps to camouflage the lace no matter how amazing your lace is or how melted it is this kind of takes it up a notch in my opinion especially like when you go to the gym or you've had a long day it just gives a very natural like effortless vibe and i'm going to go ahead and let that melt in this is a glueless wig so we did not bond anything down and look how melted and amazing it looks all it's missing is a little lace tint, which we will do right now. I'm also going in and trimming down a little bit more to make sure it's perfect. And you guys can see I'm feeling myself. Ruby Kisses has been having me in a chokehold lately. I love their products. So here I am using their foundation powder, and I believe this is shade 15. And I'm also going to use um, the same powder along the parting. When you have good lace, it makes it easier to use like a powder or something simple. This one here is absolutely gorgeous and effortless. And of course, all of the details as well as a link are in the description box. Also here, I am showing you the lace. You can definitely part it as a side part or, you know, you could do like a ponytail, half up, half down. You can do different little looks and the lace is absolutely beautiful. Okay, ladies, so I am getting the girls ready for bed. And in the meantime, in between time, I'm looking extra beat. So I was joking with them about like, mommy's about to go have some girl time and have some fun. But really and truly, I'm boring. I don't have a life. I don't have any friends. You know, I don't have anybody to go get hookah with or anything like that. So I'm about to relax, fold some laundry, turn on a series. I've been into Vampire Diaries, which in the original era of it, I never watched it. I just turned it on for background noise yesterday and i've been watching it non-stop even through the night last night and i'm obsessed so that is what i'm about to do but in the meantime i'm also going to take her off and put her on the wig head that way when i wake up tomorrow my hair is perfectly done i will be ready to go i love it when i'm able to casually roam the city and i look put together because majority of the time i look homeless and i live in a small city where a lot of people know a lot of people so in case you're seen you look good so so I can't take all of the credit. I am looking so fabulous courtesy of my first wig. And you guys already know they have the best packaging. I did, I'm super excited, I did use the flyaway tamer from them. The wig came inside of a pink dust bag and inside they did include the wig caps. They also keep an info card in here, which I'm not gonna show you mine because it does have the order number in there. Don't know if you can trace the order number, but y'all need to be on my business. Anyways, this one is a Silky Texture 16 inch natural hair color wig. The cap size is a size one, which is kind of like they're considered the small size. Um, this is a 13 by six lace front wig with the 160% density and the lace color is light brown. Also in my package, I did get this reusable pouch and there's some little, you know, info cards and language in there and in this reusable pouch it does say my first wig on it and it is double you know style this side has the stripes this side is kind of plain or not plain but you know just no stripes then inside they did include two alligator clips as well as a rat tail comb you know the rat tail comb of course has my first wig on it absolutely love their packaging i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go i'm super excited to have a good everyday holy grail wig especially because i've been vlogging lately and my last my first wig wig that you guys seen the brown with the um like lighter brown highlights has been my everyday wig and now that i'm doing another hair tutorial for my first wig this is going to be my next or newest everyday wig so that one gets to go back in the vault and take a break and if you watch my coming up vlog you see that's the wig i am in like literally every day in the vlog and that one is also from my first wig so i'll have the tutorial and all the details on that one in the description box as well thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video share with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches